right, welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal podcast. My name is Kosi. I recorded this video the first time without pressing the record button. That was so hilarious. You know, it makes me sick and I really, really do it so much. But let's do it. Let's do it again. Hello everyone, welcome back to Kosi's Arsenal podcast. My name is Kosi and this is your latest Arsenal news. We're linked with Ashraf Hakimi, the news right back. Is Arsenal getting rid of Bellerin and Cedric Soares? Finally, we shall be looking at that and more. We have had a couple of players and our manager has been nominated among the people to win prizes in the January month. What a month it was for us. No, what a month it was. No loss, five games played, three wins, two draws. And it was a month that really turned things around for us. No, we're going to be discussing that and more. Smash the like button, get your subscriptions in and comment with what you think about Mikel Arteta, Saka, Ban Leno and Kian Tierney being nominated in January. I'm going to give you the respective positions and respective awards where they have been nominated and why not let us get the party started. Of course, I will start with um, Mikel Arteta. He's been nominated um, as manager of, among the managers actually of the month who are to be um, selected and these are four. Mikel Arteta from Arsenal, Pep Guardiola from Manchester City, David Moyes from West Ham and Potter are from Brighton. I'll talk about the first three because I think um, uh, they are the ones that really catch my attention. Of course, I, I think Potter's done a very big you know, job at Brighton in, in, in January. They, you know, they have a lot of quality and I've, I've already said it, they have a, a lot of quality. They, they shouldn't be where they are. They should be, um, you know, they should be competing for, 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 for you know what? Top 12, you know, spots, 12, 12, top 14 spots. They shouldn't be in the relegation battle. They shouldn't be in the relegation zone. I think that they have done that. He's done that. Um, and I think Brighton is going to be very, very pleased with, you know, with, with what he's actually providing. He's, you know, he has the quality. They just need to score goals. That's their problem. And I think if they can do that, then Brighton is off to go. But for me, January is all about Pep Guardiola, Mikel Arteta, and, and David Moyes. The w I, I don't know why Manchester United is not on that list. I don't know why United doesn't have so many players, you know, on that list. I don't know why Ole Gunnar Sosha isn't on that list. You know, Sosha, you know, in January, that's when we have seen United go on top of the league. We should have seen United there. But I think Mikel Arteta is this kind of guy that deserves to win this. He might not with his, you know, courtesy of, of Pep Guardiola, and I will tell you the reason. But I think he deserves to win it. In December 6th, we are almost on the bottom of the table. December 26th, Boxing Day, Arsenal beats Chelsea, and that is where things turn around. January, we have no loss. We have two draws, three wins, five games, and that's the end of the month. I think we've been remarkably, remarkably good. Of course, we, you know, we, we were dumped out of the FA Cup. There was something that was not um, you know, a good talking point. But I think in the Premier League, we've been so, so good. So I'm gonna, I'll give a lot of credit uh, to Mikel Arteta, but I, I, might, I, I might not think he's going to win it because of uh, Pep Guardiola. Pep has a 100% record, um, you know, in, in January he's played six games and won all of them, you know, all of the six. You know, it really makes a lot of sense if, if, if the award actually goes to uh, Pep Guardiola. And I think the West City have turned things around as well um, in January from mid-table to now top of the league, you know, this is, you know, the, the, I think what, what Pep has done is to reignite the fear that people had in Manchester City that had been lost three months ago. Because, you know, I think in December, November, when you're playing City, it was all about, we are playing a finished City. Right now, City's on top of the table and everybody's like, oh my God, I think City's going to win it. I, I think that's what Pep has done. Go out there, get a month, smash everyone. They have smashed clubs like West Brom, you know, five goals, and they wanted to kill somebody. You know, look, I think Pep has, you know, a big, big say uh, on that. The other thing I think is, um, you know, is about David Moyer. And I think really, um, West Ham, if, if you look on the table, where West Ham is, is not where you expect them to be. You expect them to be around 10th, 11th, 12th, and they are 5th. They have a game in hand, and they're almost, I think, four points six five points ahead of arsenal you know i, I think it, 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 it's a surprise there is a surprise package and i think um you know david moyes has really done a lot done a lot in come you know when, when it comes to um arsenal 
not us, no waste them. Um, Bukayo Saka and Balen have been nominated as players of the month. Um, of course, with a, with a couple of other players, um, I'm going to be talking about as well. Um, look, I think Bukayo Saka has had a very good month, very good month. Um, he's been the Arsenal leader, he's been the Arsenal you know, prodigy, he's been the Arsenal's Messi. You know, he's done absolutely everything to make sure that Arsenal get wherever we've got in January. And, you know, it's, no, it's by no mistake that he's on the list. Um, I wanted Emily smith to be on the on this list, apart, you know, um, other than Leno. I, I, I will, look, I think Leno has had, you know, has kept a, a couple of clean sheets, but I prefer Emily smith we are, the, the, Those two are nominated against players like John Stones and Ike Gundogan. Gundogan has done so much for Manchester City, you know, uh, in, in the you know, in the absence of, of of Kevin De Bruyne. John Stones, a remarkable defender, was turned down, turned you know, turned around his career um, in that month. He's been so good. I, I remember he scored a brace. Was it against Ward? Um, but he has a brace in January. A defender with a brace, uh, you know, you you're really gonna fight a lot, you know, with, with a defender, you know, uh, with with a defender who has a brace uh, for player of the month. But I, the other player I also want to give a lot of credit is Grealish um, and Madison. I think um, those two, you know, have a lot of say when it comes to winning the player of the month. Um, but I think Saka deserves it. I, I, I'm voting for Saka. Saka deserves it. Then goal of the se- goal of the month in January. Um, we have two nominees as well. We have um, two players nominated. Bukayo Saka's goal against um, Newcastle. Now that was a goal that I, 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 I'm, I'm going to say um, it was a well worked teamwork goal, and I think that's the reason as to why it's there. It wasn't a cracker. It wasn't um, a blockbuster, but it was well worked. You know, Alexander Lacazette playing with um, actually Emily Smith Rowe stands. Stand, you know, starts the move, plays with Lacazette. Lacazette, you know, gives it back to Emily Smith Rowe, and Smith Rowe gives it, um, gives an uh, easy, easy, easy um, assist for Saka, who finishes in time, and he was just on side. So I think, um, you know, that goal stands. Uh, but for me, the goal that really stands uh, among the Arsenal nominated goals is that goal against um, uh, 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 West Brom, the Kian Tierney goal. What a goal, what a shot. Um, Kian Tierney cutting back inside and taking that shot um, in the topmost corner um, with his weak right foot. That was a goal, wasn't it? That was some goal. But look, you know, if, if I'm going to be very objective, and, and if you want me to be objective, I, I, none of those goals can really win goal of the month in January. None of them. Reason, there is a goal from Tango Ndombele, um, Tottenham Hotspur, the half volley he scored. Just look for it. Just look for it. That was a hell of a goal, man. That was a hell of a goal. You know, just look for it. Then there is that PL Ima Hoiberg stunner against Liverpool. <laughs> my God. Um, for me, that's my goal of this. That's, that's my goal of the month. I'm an Arsenal fan, make no mistake. Uh, but I really love football. And I watch a couple of games. And I, I really watch Tottenham, you know, Tottenham versus uh, um, uh, Liverpool. And, and, and I saw how, you know, Hoiberg scored that goal. And make no mistake, he's so, he's been remarkable. For me, he's, He's better than Jaden Anderson this season. He's the best, you know, defensive midfielder uh, in the Premier League so far. He's so good, Hoiberg. Uh, there, but that goal also, you know, is, is also there. Um, the, which other goal did I look at? And I was like, um, am I, I am impressed. Um, I think those were the um, those were the two goals that I was I was impressed with, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, but a couple of other goals have been, uh, you know, awarded as well, and and, and we shall see. Um, f- we shall hear from the Premier League how the voting goes. But let us look at Atrafa Kimi and the possibility that Arsenal could actually bring in um, um, a right back. Sorry, this is coming at exactly nine minutes, but uh, I had to talk about those nomina- in- nominations. Um, reports have you know reports had it one week ago and still remember we did that story actually not one week ago i think on the first of february um we were linked with uh, a player named as ashraf akimi now reports include you know indicate that we are going to fight with chelsea for the signature of akimi chelsea need a right back um i think Caesar asby Quetta must be having his um last season or his second last okay he's he, oh, he is in his you know eve um and they'll need to get in a decent right back arsenal is one of those clubs that have very very bad right backs bellerin cedric look none of them bellerin doesn't start in any top four you know team apart from arsenal he, you know cedric doesn't start in 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 top four team apart from arsenal and i think 
it's, a, it's an area we need to address. It was impossible to address it in the generator saw window, but I think it's really, really possible uh, for us not to address it in the, um, you know, in, in, in the summer. However much, I think Ashraf Hakim is just expensive. 40 million. Why do we go for a player for 40 million? There, there are players that are really, um, you know, Tariq Lamptey. Go for Tariq Lamptey. Brighton. He's going to be around, what, 25 million, 30 million. Yeah. I think that's a, you know, th th that's a good deal. But going for Ashraf Hakimi, um, you know, for me, I think it's going to be a very, very expensive deal. But reports have it that Arsenal, Mikel Artit and Edu are very interested and are, are very big fans of the player. We wanted to get him before um, he signed for, uh, for, for, for Inter Milan um, from Dortmund because he was on, uh, uh, at Dortmund uh, on loan. Then um, Real Madrid actually sold him to uh, Inter Milan. We wanted to get him. Uh, during that during that time, but we never had the 42 uh, million pounds that actually Real Madrid were asking for. So that story is also there. He's a very good right back. No, make no mistake. He's he's one player that I really really rate a lot, and I think we shall be talking about him so much, so much um, in the coming episodes. But Arsenal, can we spend those 40 million? Because Inter Milan are saying if anyone can give them 40 million, um, they will actually cash in on the player. Um, they are in a very difficult financial situation and, and and of course everybody is um Barcelona are Real Madrid are Arsenal are in a very 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 difficult you know financial situation but going for a 40 million center right back is not something I'm gonna support I, I wanted to, I wanted to spend those 40 million um on on, on a midfielder spend those 40 million on a, on a striker you know we can get a 15 million right back and it's good enough look at Kentin how much is he around 26 million but you know he's hell good very good. So I, I do not agree, for, you know, for Arsenal to go for Ashraf Hakimi. However, the you know the truth is his quality, his quality is undebatable. If 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 it's Ashraf Hakimi or no one else, then I'll go for Ashraf Hakimi. We can sell Bellerin if if it's all about selling Bellerin because I think we can raise around thirty million in Bellerin. If you can sell Bellerin, add ten million um, and go for Hakimi, that is you know that is brilliant. But like I said, we should also look at players like Tariq Lamptey. Um, they are there and they are very very cheap. There are also players like um, uh, Max Aaron's at Norwich. I've I've always talked about Aaron's and and and, 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 I've, and I've said it that you know if Arsenal really want to go for someone like uh, you know a good right back, you could go for Max Aaron's. Barcelona, you know have been fighting for him and, and and how come arsenal has never you know seen uh, the opportunity to sign him but that is it uh, we are linked with Tariq lamti uh, you know we are linked with hasha fakimi we have been linked with Tariq lamti before but that story didn't actually count my name is kosi and of course i'll speak to you in the next video if you smash a like on the video and get your subscription in as well for now i sign out and i would say bye bye